Did you know that Canva now has a feature to allow you to add captions to your video content quickly and easily? Is it good? Does it work? Does it do the job? We're gonna cover that in this video, so stay tuned and keep watching. Hey, my name is Lowell Brown, I'm from Going Social. I run a digital marketing agency in Toronto, Canada, and I create videos like this to help you level up your digital marketing. And in today's video, we're talking about video captioning. That's right, when you've got those reels, those story videos, even regular long form videos like like this and you want to add captions to show the text as you're speaking along the bottom that's what we're covering in this video now I've used a bunch of different tools to create captions for my own video content I've used things like DaVinci Resolve which is what I'm gonna edit this video on right now now doing it in DaVinci Resolve because I'm using the free version it's pretty manual it's a long process I've also used tools like CapCut. Now that was a really fun, easy, good app to use to do captions. However, now they forced users that they have to have a premium account to do it. So I went searching for a couple other options and Adobe actually does have an option that's pretty good. But I also found out that Canva now allows you to do captions as well. Now, how does it stack up? Is it good? Is it easy? Is it accurate? Is it very customizable? Well, we're gonna cover all of that and more in this video, so keep watching, and here we go. Now, I wanna jump in right into Canva, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get started with video captioning content. I've created a few, but we're gonna go over a couple more here right now. So the first thing you wanna do when you log into Canva is to click on this little video icon. So once you get in there, it's gonna ask you what type of video do you want to set up and we're going to go with a Instagram story so we know that it's tall content and it's going to open up to a new we'll call this canvas in Canva and this is where you're you have your space to use here now I have already uploaded some videos here into my account we're going to click on the video tab here and all I can all I need to do is is click on this to add it in and you'll see that that's a video that automatically plays now I am just going to click to set this to the background and again we do have other controls within Canva where you can still do some editing and adjusting so you could edit the video if we wanted to in terms of you know adding different color correction if we wanted we could adjust the intensity of the video we could adjust the volume, we could extract the audio, which we don't want in this case, we could enhance the, the audio. This appears to be a premium um, uh, feature. And we could also adjust the playback speed. So I'm, I'm actually going to just go back out to the original video that was here. And we can continue to just play it, right? Now, one thing I forgot to tell you is you always wanna come up here and and, and name your project. So we're gonna call this Video Captions 1. I spelled that wrong. So we've got a name for our, our project here. And as you see, I can play it and it plays. And again, we could trim it if we wanted to. I could come up here and I could I could trim it. So there's all these other kinds of things that you can do with the video. We could flip it if we needed to, things like that. So Canva gives you a lot of these features, which a, you know, these are very basic video editing features, but it is cool that we have the option to do this kind of thing. They even do have a, this is a premium feature, but a background remover. Now I, I haven't tried it on this video, and that's not what this demo is about, but let's uh, let's see what it does. So this is 1%. I'll let this run and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it's done. Now we can test it. It's not perfect. You can see some stuff going on here. Not bad, but again, this isn't what this video is about. So we're just going to roll back here to the original video. Now, captions, that's what we're here to do. So how do we get that? Well, you just click over here on the left on the text icon, and then you'll notice this new thing calls under dynamic text captions is here. So you just have to click on that 
and it'll allow you if you've got more than one clip it'll it'll ask you what do you want to actually caption in this case we've got the one clip and we can click on generate captions and in the background automatically it's going to do this for us this was a very short clip so you can see that it's running through everything and it seems to have done it pretty quickly captions are now applied so what can we do now that we've got the captions well if i click over here on captions it opens up a left window and you can edit things as you go along now interestingly i have seen this where it does kind of bumble up this so you can click on that preview so you can see it did a pretty good job doing all of that for us quickly and easily now you can come in here if there is a spelling error if there's words that are left out i did a couple of these other videos and and there were some small things to change so if as an example here we wanted to adjust something so here it left out a word right so i've recorded a video so we can actually hear what it says at this point as well so let's go back to the captions click on that so you could adjust the text if you need to here now there's some pros and cons to this feature within canva the first is it's pretty quick it does a good job of collecting all those captions using their ai technology and getting the text mostly accurate. I've had videos where everything was perfect and I've had videos where there were a few words here and there left out or done incorrectly. And I've used other platforms in the past for captioning as well. And to be frank, none of them are actually perfect. So this is really, I have to say, it does a good job off the bat of doing the captions, preparing them and putting them into Canva. Now, what I don't like about this is that I've noticed there's a little bit of a time delay in the syncing of the captions. So I noticed that it's it's good enough to use and I, and I have used this, but to be precise on the actual timing of me saying a word and it highlighting correctly or or that sentence not being delayed it's not perfect in there and so far i haven't found a way to adjust the timing of those captions within canva here right now so that's one of the things that i don't love um, i'm going to go back to screen sharing mode for another part of it the other thing that i don't love is when you get into the captions Sometimes what I like to do is not have a complete sentence showing here. I'd like to have it maybe three, four words. And unfortunately, while you can come in and edit and retype or, or delete words if it's got it incorrectly, you can't actually, I mean, I, I, I could even add a, add a line break, which is cool if you want to control how things appear on, on the actual window. What it can't do though is I can't separate these. So I can't control that I only want three words here and then it'll go down and it'll, you know, adjust the captions to another placement. So that sort of customization I feel is lacking and I really do hope Canva adds that in. For now, for basic stories and reels, if you're not too um, picky about that kind of thing, this does a great job and it serves its purpose. It's really fast and easy. So for me, there are times where I do like to control that customization and I, and I didn't love that. Now, speaking of customization, there are a lot of things that you can still do here. So if I, if I do select the caption content here, you can still adjust the size of text. So you can make it bigger. You could change the font. So if we wanted to make a Roboto or if we wanted to do something different, we could do that. You can change the color, which I really like. So there, there is some customization that, that really does work here and you can adjust the placement of things. I don't know why it's not really showing it perfectly here because I've done other videos in the past and, and, it, and the editing and the placement of this has worked better. So that's just something that's a little bit buggy here right now. Let me actually jump out and um, see if we can fix this. So we'll jump back in and no, it's, it's not actually working. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new video here 
and we'll jump back in because I do want to show you something editing and I, and I want to explain what might be going on here. So we're going to jump out. I'm going to create a new design. We're going to say it's video. Oh, that's why I was under Instagram story. That was my bad. So when you come in here and this is really good that I found this problem, what you want to do is select Instagram story video. Make sure it says video. If you do it under a picture, under a photo, you will get the same problem I did. So we're going to whip through this really fast. Again, I'll show you what to do. You come in, you need to find your uploads. You click on video, select the video that we want. We'll choose a different one this time. We've got that video there. We're going to select it to set to background. We're going to go into text. We're going to go into uh, auto captions here. We're going to let it run its thing. And this again is just to show you how fast it actually can work. So it's done. Uh, again, we got a little thing. There we go. So it's done here. Now, again, you can adjust the captions. You can see it up here. You could adjust text if we need to. I'm going to quickly adjust some fonts here just to make it easier for your, for us to see. And you could also, you know, if you wanted to make it all caps, you could, we could adjust the sizing, the spacing, even if I wanted to space this out. So there's a lot of customization you can still do to make these captions look great. Now let's play this. We we'll go down on the bottom. Now I noticed it's not centered. So let's get in. We can make that centered and then see what I mean? It's not specific in the timing. This should have changed at the right spot. So the timing isn't exactly perfect, but as you can see, it does a great job and it's working well. Now I can even come in to a specific part of a caption and only one caption and I could adjust, you know, specific words only on one part of a caption and you'll see that, you know, I could do it again here. So you have that individual control to adjust, you know, specific words on only specific captions or you could do what I did the first time where you can really customize the entire selection of all captions. So just again to show you, I've just done some customizations here. So you see that it's not formatting everywhere and I have that control to select specific words and add formatting. And I love that kind of thing. I think that's great. Um, again, the timing, adjusting the length of the captions, not perfect, but otherwise this does a really good job. And then when you're done editing everything, I mean, I can even, you know, I can move this caption to the top if I wanted to and leave the other ones lower down. So you've got, you've got that flexibility or in this case, it, it didn't actually let me do that. Um, let me see if I can adjust it here. So I'm pretty sure you can break things out and you can. So if we did ungroup, we could actually, looks like I can move things around now. So there is, there is some flexibility here a little bit. Oh, I guess I, I can't really individually move those lines. That's another thing, unless I'm doing something wrong. I was under the impression that I could actually move just this one caption to be lower than the rest of them, but it looks like I may have just done it there. Yeah, there. You see how, see how they're not all in the exact same spot now where some of them were? So let's try to move this one up here see how that goes so there you do have that ability to move around the placement of the captions which is cool um, again it does a pretty good job and you could you could again add in you know other elements if you wanted to during your your video so all in all it does a pretty good job and it allows you flexibility in terms of customizing things and this really hasn't taken me much time to do I really, really wish that there was more flexibility in controlling the length of the captions, in controlling the timing of the captions. I haven't seen how to do that just yet, and I hope it is something that they adjust um, in the future. So now I just wanna jump quickly back into screen sharing mode, show you how to export this video. Here we go. 
Okay, once you're done doing all your edits, like everything else, you click up here to share, you click on download, make sure video is selected. You could adjust the quality if you want. Right now it's at 1080p, which is great. My original video was recorded at 1080p, so it's fine. And then you click download, it'll do its thing and it'll save that video to your computer and you're done. So that's it for this video was a quick demo showing you how to use Canva to create captions on video content. I hope this video is very helpful for you and I hope it gives you another alternative to test so that you can quickly make those Instagram stories or reels, those Facebook um, videos, TikTok videos, all that kind of stuff so that you can share video content with captions quickly and easily using Canva. Once again, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social. Stay tuned, I got more videos coming up. You can check out my Canva playlist for more Canva content, or just stay tuned and you'll see another video coming up right here very soon. I'll see you in that next video.